Hi, my name is Miss Allison. I'm with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater St. Louis. Today, I'll be showing you some STEM activities that you can do at home. STEM. Oh, you remember what STEM means? Say it with me. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Very good. Glad you remembered. Now, we are going to be using some things that you probably already have in your house. I will warn you, however, you will need some adult supervision for about five minutes because we will be using a stove. And you know, stoves get hot and we don't want you to hurt yourself. Ready? Let's go. So today we're going to make homemade Play-Doh. I like homemade Play-Doh. It's inexpensive to make. It keeps for about three months if you put it in a Ziploc bag or an airtight container. And then we're going to use it um, for some imaginative projects. Okay, so we're going to need two cups of flour, three fourth cup of salt, four teaspoons of cream of tartar if you bake. It's probably in the back of the cabinet. Two cups of warm water. Two tablespoons of all vegetable oil works. Food coloring and Ziploc bags. Didn't get all that? Don't worry. Press pause. Okay, this is where the adult comes in. Take a large pot, put it on the stove. Mix all your dry ingredients together. Stir it up. Then you put the wet in, the water and the oil. Turn the stove on and you start to mix. This usually takes about five minutes. We're gonna speed this up. And we're stirring. Still stirring. Till it starts to clump up. Keep stirring. Otherwise it'll burn. Till it kind of starts to stick. Okay, turn the burner off. Let it cool for a bit. Put it on a cookie sheet. Then you can start to knead it. So you can smooth it out, smooth out the lumps. Put it into about three or four separate piles. I put baggies on my hands so I don't get too much food coloring on it. Make a hole in the middle, pour some food coloring in the middle. And then you can start to mix the food coloring in. If you wanted to make the whole batch one color, you can pour the food coloring in the water while you're mixing it up on the stove, but I wanted more than one color. So that's why I did it this way. And we're mixing and we're mixing and we're mixing. And we're mushing and we're mixing. I want to make sure the color is in there really well. Now this is not a Ziploc bag. So I'm going to take it out. And then I'm going to put it in a Ziploc. And you're going to do that for all the colors that you want. Good job. Play-Doh is done. Now, on to challenge one. The marble run. You need Play-Doh, a cookie sheet, and a marble. You're going to use the Play-Doh to build obstacles on a cookie sheet. 
The goal is to get the model from the top to the bottom. And then you get to test it. You have to tilt it to make the model go. This takes some practice. Good job. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Not enough action. Let's make a marble one. With fidget spinners. Same goal, same materials. Just add a fidget spinner. Make sure to test it while you're building it. Let's see how this works. Ooh. Reminds me of a pinball machine. Y'all know what a pinball machine is? Google it, it's fabulous. the bottom. Wonderful. We're going to try this again. Give it a spin. Ooh, at the top. There you go. Get up there. Yes. Ready to level up? On to challenge two. This one takes some thought. A marble maze. Same material, same goal. To building a maze. This takes some time and some planning. Use the marble to get from the top of the maze to the bottom. This is a good one to challenge your friends and family. You can time it to see who can get through the maze the fastest. Excellent. Well, that worked out well. You want to exercise your brain a little more? Try making a round maze with a pizza pan. Take some planning. Well worth it. My pizza pan had holes in it, so I put cardboard on top. Then I started building. Again, this is going to take a while and some patience. This would be another fun one to challenge your friends to see how fast they can get through it. Almost done. Now we're ready to test. This one takes some balance. Nice thing about working with Play-Doh is you can change the design if you don't like it.
Ta-da! Third and last challenge. Ready? This one is not as easy as it looks, but it's a lot of fun. The marble coaster or the marble slide. You need Play-Doh, some cups, craft sticks, and a marble. The goal is to build a structure that can get the marble from the top to the bottom. This took a lot of trial and error and I tried a lot of different designs. This was an epic fail. This one was too bumpy. I even tried playing around with some straws and Play-Doh. That didn't work out too well. So I kind of stuck with this. And we're testing it out. The challenge on this one was to get it to turn the corner without collapsing. And we're done. Got any questions, any concerns? Write an email to gotquestions at bgcstl.org. And there you have it, STEM activities you can do at home with stuff you probably already have in your kitchen. Just use your imagination. That's all I got. Until next time, stay safe.